This makes sense. It does now, there's make some sense, people yeah. that are pointing the finger, but they don't understand there's four pointing back at them. <laughs> does the Bible actually condone uh, polygamy? Does it condone having more than one wife? Where does it in the Quran say that they can take up to four wives? Well, in Surah chapter 4, verse 3. And if you fear that you will not deal justly with the orphan girls, then marry those that please you of other women, two, three, or four. But if you fear that you will not be just, then marry one or those your right hands possess. That is more suitable that you may not incline to injustice. So, does the Bible actually condone uh, polygamy? Does it condone having more than one wife? Is that what God ordered and ordained? The answer is no. Because of the fact that God created Adam and Eve, that is a perfect image of what marriage should be. One woman, one man. Man and a woman. He didn't create two men, did not create two women. He did not create one man, four women, one man, three women. No. It was only a man and a woman in which together in a marriage they can re fuller reflect the image of God, and that's why marriage is so beautiful. But according to the Quran, that's not the case. That's not the case at all because they, you know, men can't have these privileges and are able to take up to four wives. And they it's true that our religion uh, has allowed uh, a man to marry more than one woman. Uh, and, but it's not just our religion. I mean, this is a well-known fact that many cultures and many uh, societies, and in fact, to this day, there are many countries uh, where this is legal, not necessarily Muslim countries. I was in South Africa last week, and their president has, I think, three wives. Yeah. Uh, and, and, this is, and this is the president of South Africa, which is a very modern Western country. What our religion does, and this is, it's really logical, is that if uh, you know, it's possible and capable and everybody is, is, you know, is, is, is fine with it, then it is permissible for a man to take on more than one woman with certain conditions. This is what our religion has said. And uh, once again, it's not a necessary requirement, it's just an option. And contrary to popular opinion, the vast majority of Muslims have one wife and that's the way things are and they're all over the Muslim world. You know, I would say off the top of my head, maybe 90, 95%. Uh, all over the Muslim world, the vast majority, uh, basically one, one wife, one husband, everything's fine. If a person finds this, you know, culturally he doesn't want to do it, sure, go ahead, not. I mean, it's not necessary to, not at all. You're not any better Muslim if you have two wives or not. Your, your Islam is not affected. You don't have to. It's not even uh, necessarily encouraged or discouraged. It's a neutral thing. If you want to and there's a legitimate, uh, you know, reason and cause and you are justified in, uh, in making sure you're going to take care of them all equally, it's an option that is available if circumstances are appropriate. If now, if we even go rationally, because we're trying to solve mm -hmm. problems of the world, who would know best how to solve these problems? The creator of the heavens and earth, wouldn't Exactly. He? Yeah. Now, if you just think about it, you know, there's an excess of women. There are. Because I laid down the arguments that began the Christian polygamy movement that persuades evangelical Christians that the Bible never created the one man, one woman doctrine or prohibited polygamy. Because of the fact that God created Adam and Eve, that is a perfect image of what marriage should be. One woman, one man. There were numerous polygamists in the Bible. Numerous. Moses himself, who wrote the Adam and Eve story, who wrote the one flesh verse of Genesis 2.24, who wrote, Thou shalt not commit adultery of Exodus 20, verse 14, the seventh commandment, and wrote the polygamy regulating verses. Moses himself had two wives.
Does the Bible actually condone uh, polygamy? Does it condone having more than one wife? It so we looked to the law to find out what was sin. And we see that under the law, under the Old Testament, that polygamy was never banned. And not only so, it was regulated. You see, for example, in Exodus 21.10, it actually says, If you take another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. That's right there in the law under the legalism. That's a regulation of polygamy. Does the Bible actually condone uh, polygamy? Does it condone having more than one wife? In Deuteronomy 21.15, it starts with, If a man have two wives, and goes on to regulate dealing with the children. David had numerous wives. He had eight known named wives. In fact, when David was being reproved for taking another man's wife, God sent a prophet to him, according to 2 Samuel 12, 8, and get this, this is what God said in 2 Samuel 12, 8 to David. I gave you all your wives. And if you had wanted more, I'd have given you more. That's in 2 Samuel 12, 8. It's right there. God himself taking responsibility for giving David his wives. Does the Bible actually condone uh, polygamy? Does it condone having more than one wife? It Clearly, the Bible never created the anti-polygamy doctrine. The emperor is wearing no clothes. People that are pointing the finger, but they don't understand, is for pointing back at them. Yeah.